Novak Djokovic is known for his off-court sense of humor as well as on-court tennis prowess. The Joker, this Sunday night, we will see another side of the world's top-ranked tennis player as he tells 60 Minutes correspondent Bob Simon about growing up in the midst of war. In 1999, as the conflict spread to the province of Kosovo, the Americans and other NATO countries bombed Serbia for 78 days and nights. The Djokovic family took shelter in Belgrade. We were very scared. Everybody was very afraid because the whole city was under attack. They sought refuge here in his grandfather's apartment. Novak took us there. Novak, his grandfather, parents, two younger brothers, aunts and uncles all lived in this two-bedroom flat during the Blitz. The building had a basement. When the air raid sirens sounded, they retreated there, which was as close as they could get to safety. This is where practically we stayed, right, right here, right inside. Well, how many of you? <sighs> many, many. Everybody who could fit here, they came, you know, and there was no really limitation. Novak says the family spent every night in the basement for the first two weeks of the bombing. But you continued playing tennis. I continued playing tennis. And did you lose day. your focus at all? Uh, at the first couple of weeks, I did. <laughs> I did, yes, I have to say because we were waking up every single night, more or less at 2, 3 a.m. for two and a half months. Every because single, of the bombing? Every single night, yes. But, you know, I always try to remember those days uh, in, in a positive, in a very bright way. Uh, let's say I, we didn't need to go to school and we played more tennis. So in a way, yes. the war helped you become a champion. <laughs> in a way, in a way. It made you tougher. Yeah, it made us tougher. It made us more hungry, more hungry for the success. I know that celebrated athletes have a life that you don't see on the court. It's so true because what you see is, I mean, you know about hard work, but you don't realize the personal sacrifice and the personal struggles in so many cases that come along with it. And, and sports at that level is about the mental edge. Mm-hmm. You know? Which is a little bit of what he alluded to. But he's off, he's off to a good year. He won the Australian Open. We've got the French coming up and then Wimbledon and then the U.S. Open here. I he could. I mean, he has the possibility. I was the only person who has the possibility of putting four Grand Slams together in one season. Which would be quite a feat. Unbelievable. Since Rod Labor. It would be a very good step. We'll be watching for that.